start over again and over again and from the experience. I want you to be okay with not being okay, not being perfect and starting and building up and going for a quantity at the beginning. Good morning everyone, here is Violeta Simone here on Value Hacker Innovation Addict Recovering Banking Rebel, also known as Business Doctor. Today it's a Hacking Tuesday. Hacking Tuesday. Hacking Tuesday is about hacking you, hacking your habits, hacking the information about you and becoming a better version of yourself every single day because it's about beating yourself, not beating up yourself, but being a better tomorrow than you were yesterday. Today I want to share it with you a story which I also share before, but some of the story I want to share more than once for simple reasons. We need to hear the repetition of them. So I'm going to share with you a story from the book of an art and they were building the pottery and there was two groups. One group had to build the pottery, the beautiful and amazing, the most beautiful, amazing vase. And they were working only on the one pottery. All the group were working on the one vase through the entire workshop. And then the second group, their role was to produce as many pottery vases as possible. And the question to you is, which of those two groups do you think perform at its best. So which of the groups the pottery vase was the most beautiful? So the both goal was to create the most beautiful. The one group was working on the quality, so they were making it beautiful one vase and then the other vase group was working on the quantity of the vase. Which one of those two do you think produced the most beautiful vase. The one for the quality or the one for quantity. I want you to type it even if you're watching this later on and you're watching a replay, please, please, please type in the comments what it is. Which one was the most beautiful? The one with the quality or the one with the quantity? I know there is a little bit of a delay if you said that the quantity, it's not something normally I would say. Remember, everyone talks about it's not about the quantity, it's not about the quality, it's about quality. Often we hear it's about quality. But how are you gonna get into this quality? How? You cannot just sit and, you know, create the most beautiful face. You need to practice. And when you go for quantity, you create that repetition and the practice to become, to make it, it's both to become and to make it the most beautiful vase. Those people, which they were only making one vase, they didn't get the practice, the creation of it. It's like, you know, having a one chest to make it the most beautiful or to literally work it through. And this is the same when you build your business, the same when you build your, your career, your, your job. So, you know, if you go into the interview and practice only you do one interview and you don't get it, that's very similar. Or you just go and you talk into, go into as many as possible interviews to practice the process of interviewing, speaking about yourself, talking to people, and then you go, uh, when you when you stand in the, the right people, you're gonna get the job of your dream. And the same with your business. When we create our business, I'm working very often with the uh, business owners or entrepreneurs to be, or explorers, how we call them. And I notice and I see that they, you guys are working on the particular ideas for a long time. You're creating all these beautiful materials, you're creating all these beautiful things around you, you know, the websites, the materials, formulas, programs and everything before even talking to your clients or before going and trying and doing a prototype and building with them. So, you know, selling those kinds of offers is super hard. The first thing because you don't know what you what is the value you haven't done you don't know what they're getting it and secondly you, you even don't know what it is yet 
And we want to know everything before we even start to do those things. And I have to tell you and surprise you, it doesn't work like that because we want to be perfect. And creating the perfect vase with the one go in, you know, making and shaping and making a perfect or trying it 50 times and making from the scratch. You know what I say? It's actually not mine, but I love to use that. You don't start from zero. You start from the experience. So each time those guys were building a new vase, they were starting from the experience. So each new one was not completely new. It was experience. They knew how to make it to be stronger, to look better, to be more beautiful and etc. etc. I'm repeating and repeating and repeating this because I want you to go and start over again and over again and from the experience. I want you to be okay with not being okay, not being perfect and starting and building up and going for a quantity at the beginning. Because when you get how to build it, that vase, it's going to be more beautiful each time you're gonna be building it. Because you're gonna be better. You know that Jim Ron and also the Napoleon Hills and Carnegie, Napoleon was writing a book for Carnegie. I will tell you, you know, about it maybe later on. But also it's like when you decide or you tell yourself you want to be a millionaire or a billionaire, it's not what the money made you, but the journey to arrive to be that billionaire. That's what makes difference. So the journey of making the potteries, that's what makes difference. So I want you to be open to everything, not attached to anything, to be okay with letting things go and practice and do it and try it all the time.